What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 5, battled a few trainers, struggled just a little bit, you know what I mean? We struggled just a little bit. And, well, we got ourselves an egg, too. Still need to hatch this little thing. And now it is time for us to actually move on right here. Now, there's a few things you can actually find in this Pokemon Center, like... The individual, I think, right here. If you talk to him, if you find uh, Feebas, I believe he'll pay you like 3000 Now, this guy right here will actually give you a dire hit just for the totem Pokemon that will actually you'll actually battle. Now, there is an individual right here that, you know, will actually pay you about 3000 Oh, yes, yeah, so this guy right here. Now, if you talk to this kid, Brookie Hill has its own totem Pokemon. If you talk to this individual right here, uh... They have a bounce suite, or he has a bounce suite, and he would like to trade it for a Lillipup. Now, the only thing is that we haven't captured any of these Pokemon just yet. Now, who could it be? This guy right here. Ah, yes. Ask you of something. Sure. And he's like, give me your time. The effects of... Uh, you see, I'm doing a study about the effects of water quality on Pokemon, and right now I am looking for a situation in Brooklyn Hill. I'm currently surveying whether a Pokemon called Feebas can live or can be found living there. But I'm terrible at fishing, and so I'm not making any progress at all. Do you think you can offer a... I can offer you a bit of part-time work as a research assistant? Could you try and catch a Feebas for me in Brooklyn Hill? It's rather shabby-looking Pokemon, so I think you'll have no trouble recognizing it if you see it. If you manage to catch one, please come and show me the... Show me your Pokedex data. I have enough of a budget to pay you, so please. Yeah, the, he's gonna definitely pay you, uh... I believe 3,000 Poke Dollars just for just to get a fee bass so the next stop right here is not right there just yet but we're gonna grab this yes we're gonna be bad we're gonna be grabbing this and you know what screw it we're just gonna be battling this guy too just uh you know as a warm-up and all that crud and there we go Rossberry is good to go and he is looking at us all funny and stuff he's like battles are the best but for raising Pokemon they really are Let's try it sometime guys Okay, so here we go, going up against a breeder, and his name is Corey, and he's got a pretty cool mustache right there. So there he is, coming out with his parasite, or his Paris. So let's go Ultra Psycho, ready to go, but unfortunately, bug types are pretty strong against this guy. So let's go right ahead and switch him out. Let's go straight for Toxic Batman right here, and hopefully it's Wing Attack that actually worked for us and all that. And it is a little warm in here, so I'm going to put the air conditioner right next to me. And here comes a Stun Spore attack, but it doesn't work. Let's go for a Wing Attack. And here it comes. Wing Attack for the win. And there goes Paris. And we're earning some more experience points and all that. And, well, here comes a Spin Rack. So we're going to stay uh, with uh, Toxic Batman right here. And let's go right ahead and keep on using that Wing Attack right here. So there we go, wing attack, does its trick, nearly beats this guy, and here comes a scary face attack. Oh, jeez, we're going to just lose it. All right, here we go. And, well, here comes a nightshade attack. Doesn't really do much, but look at that. Okay, it took, like, about a lot. And Spinarak has been defeated. Okay, there we go. We have defeated Spinarak. Talks of Batman grows to level 18. And everybody else, too. Alright. Okay. So we defeated the breeder. And now it is time for us to just move on. Now, before we move on, I kind of need to heal my Pokemon. Because, yeah, we don't we don't want to go into this next area uh, unhealed. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. So here we are back, guys. Fully healed and ready to go to Brooklet Hill. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we are, Brooklet Hill. It's a bit of a nice area right here. Now, you'll meet up with someone called Lana right here. Look at her. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklyn Hill. You look like a, a, an able-bodied trainer. Could I ask for your help or something? Sure, let's go ahead. Then follow me this way, please. Okay, let's go ahead and follow the, uh, the lady right here. See what's up. And, well, as you can see, it's looking like it's a lot of water that we're going to be facing. Lots and lots of water. Now, before we do anything, let's grab this. Got ourselves a net ball. <gasps> it's always good. And, well, there's a guy fishing. Now, I'm only assuming that this guy will want to battle. So, let's go Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and switch him out with Puka right here. 
Now, I know Puka is not the strongest Pokemon yet, but once it evolves, you know, it's going to gain a little bit more capabilities. And here we are going to battle this guy. I'll teach you some tricks and guarantee he'll get you some Pokemon. I know I didn't read that correctly, but it's okay. Alrighty, here we go. Going up against Fisherman Ernest. And, well, he's going to have a pretty good Pokemon right here, I guess. I don't know. Oh, crud. Barboke. Barboach. Barboke. Can't even pronounce the name. And I picked the worst Pokemon for this this situation. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to good old Ultra Psycho because it's the ultimate cheat code right here. So how are you guys feeling? How are you guys doing right now? It's good to be back in Pokemon uh, Moon. I know that I paused it for quite some time. And, well, it's going to continue on right here on a set schedule. And, you know, I'm very proud of that. Very, very proud of that. I used my vacation time wisely just to get all of this done. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, recording anything for, you know, a nice, maybe I would like to say two months or so. And here he comes out with a Goldeen. So yeah, two months, guys. Two friggin' months. That's how dedicated I am to this whole channel right here. And well, here he comes out with a Puka again. And, well, Goldeen is looking uh, pretty mean. So let's go with a Thundershock and hope for the best Thundershock. And that right there takes a little bit more uh, HP than uh, what I thought. And a Water Pulse really hits us hard. So let's go again. Go with the Thundershock. Let's go, Puka. And nearly defeats Goldeen. But here comes another Water Pulse. And this one really hits us hard. Now, I could... I don't know. I, I kind of want to, like... Yeah, I kind of want to heal my Pokemon, but now nah, that wasn't the case right here. So, there we go, and look at that. We grow to level 21, almost close to evolving it, and, well, I am going to have to treat my Pokemon wisely right here. So, yes, the Pokemon fishing tricks and all that stuff. And, well, let's see, what is next? Oh, yes, we have to uh, take care of our, our, our whatchamacallit, our Alakazam right here. So, we're going to get the blow dryer right here. Look at this. Blow dry him water. There we go. You can also heal Pokemon here too if they're poisoned, burned, or you know, they're poisoned, burned, or paralyzed, and, and all that. And this is how it increases the love to the Pokemon. So just keep an eye out for that. And well, let's see. Is there is there a hidden item right here? No, we already got it. All right, so let's move on right here to Brooklet Hill and follow our friend. And well, we're gonna be attacked by another Pokemon right here. Wonder what that could be. And we are getting attacked by a Lillipup. This is a Pokemon that, you know, we could potentially trade and all that. It's on level 17. And, well, we need to heal up our good old uh, Puka right here. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal up Puka. And luckily, during the little break that I had, I actually bought myself a little bit more uh, Super Potions. So that, that will actually help us out for just a little bit. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and stay out of the grass right here. And we will be finding an elixir, which, you know, is good for our, the Pokemon PP right here. And as soon as we get to the bay right here, we're going to find Lana. And she's like, see, do you see that there? Oh, damn. That is amazing. Look at that vigorous splashing. I shouldn't be surprised to find a fearsome Pokemon is the one causing it all. So, brave trial goer, I would like to ask you uh, ask you to investigate that splashing there and find out what exactly it's causing it. I want to ask you to swim out there. Of course, I have no, I have a lovely gift of, uh, for you inside. And here we're gonna get the ride pager or the Lapras for the ride pager. If you climb atop a Lapras there, you will be able to travel over bodies of water. That's right. You'll even be able to reach those splashes and see what is going on there. Well, would you look at that. We got ourselves a Ride Splasher, and I am not trusting myself right now because this is probably going to be a huge battle against a Pokemon that we probably have no chance of defeating or something like that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to grab some items. And, uh, well, there are two Pokemon trainers here. Might as well battle them first. Here we go. I cram Pokemon in my backpack, bounce around, and now I'm here. Okay, so here we go, another battle in the Brooklyn Hill, and then we're going to be taking on a backpacker, Mikiko. Mikiko. So Mikiko is coming out with a Fleshling, 
a Pokemon from you uh, from Kalos and uh, something that I probably want to get. I could get that, you know, a Fletchling. So here we go, Thundershock for the win. And that right there is not. Oh, that right there actually. Well, they physically hit me, so now you are, you are now paralyzed, Fletchling. But here we go. And let's go again with another Thunder Shock for the win. And just like that, Fletchling has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Mikiko has been defeated as well. Now, that is the best of both worlds right there, Fletchling. Now, I kind of want to see where I can actually locate it. If I could find it early on, then that would be great. I would like to add it on my team, just as my fire slash flying type Pokemon. And right now, it is looking like... Huh. Let's see. It is looking like... Where are you? Where, where, oh, where are you? Fletchling. I love to see what Fletchling's all about. Rock Ruff is a pretty good Pokemon, too. Uh, Bagon, you can actually get him, too. Lillipup. Glaceon, Mudbray, Igglybuff, Tauros, Pokemon, Paris, Goldeen, Fletchling. Okay, so here's Fletchling, and this is a Pokemon I've always wanted to get, especially in the X and Y series. And it looks like to me it is in a different area. So let's go ahead and take a look where what island it can actually find it at. And Crap Basket on a Crapsicle Stick, you can actually find it on the other side of Akala Island. And, oh crud. Yeah, so it looks like to me that we won't be getting there until later on, guys. So, yeah, Fletchling's that right there. And then, let's see, different island. So, there's only one location where you can actually get a Fletchling. So, I think I already know what Pokemon I, I kind of want to trade for. I don't want to wait for, like, I don't want to wait for getting it. So, we're just going to have to trade for it on uh, my Pokemon Sun version. So, We'll wait for that later on, and uh, there is another trainer right here, and I should probably, yeah, I should probably heal my uh, Puka right here. Now, so far, my team has taken its shape. There, there are team members that I kind of want to use. This game actually enables me to actually use however many Pokemon I want to use, especially now that you know I got Sun version and it's already completed and stuff. So I could take, you know, I could change it up here and there. Feature some different Pokemon. I'm already at that point where I think I know what time, what kind of team I want. So here we go. Let's go with Puka going up against a Poliwag. And well, let's go with Thundershock right here. And that Water Gun is looking uh, pretty mean right there. Holy shoot! Okay, so here we go. Thundershock. There we go. And let's try it one more time. And Puka is getting that Water Gun. Not that fast yet. Not that fast of a Pokemon. This is what happens when you're when you're raising a baby Pokemon. And there we go. We have defeated this Pokemon right here. And obviously Puka is not so happy right now because it's wet. So there we go. Now we have to actually give this Pokemon a little bit of loving by giving it a blow driver. There we go. Blow drying. There we go. This Pokemon's light, nice and happy. There we go. There we go, pet it. Because the more it loves us, the more it, the more chances it will have to actually evolve and all that stuff. Not right there. And... There we go. I wonder if I have any... Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a, a bean. Yes, this Pokemon is now happy. Okay. So that takes care of that. And, let's see. Is there anything else I need to do? I need to heal my Pokemon yet again. Let's give it a potion this time, since, you know, it's very low leveled. And I do have other Pokemon on standby just for this situation. So, let's go right ahead and ride our Pokemon right here. And as you can see, if you press the... Oh, crap. All these Pokemon separated, and they're going to the other ponds right here. And if you get close enough right here... This Pokemon will attack you, and it looks like a wishy-washy. 
This is one of the new Pokemon that they feature right here in Pokemon Moon and, or Sun and Moon. And it is at level 17. So right now my Pokemon are a bit under leveled. But it's a bit of a it's 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 a good challenge right here because normally my Pokemon wouldn't be this under leveled if I've caught so many Pokemon. Unfortunately, I haven't done that yet, guys. I've been a little lazy. Remember, it took a uh, you know three four months off of this game right here. And well, wishy washy has been wishy washy away. Yes, wishy washy away. And there we go. Okay. So that's been taken care of. And oh my. So it was wishy-washy kicking up the old water. Even a little wishy-washy can make such big waves. Splash, splash. Oh me, what is that? I could hear, I could hear wild splashing all over there. It sounds like an even larger than uh, we, what we just saw. Is it a Pokemon or is it a po person? I suppose we better go go check. Now, if you press the B button, Lapras will go a little bit faster. Look at that. And what else can this Pokemon do now? As you can see, these stones are actually, you know, you, you see these stones right here. Those are actually, uh, well, the locations of where you can actually fish for Pokemon right here. Now, let's see, is there anything else you can actually find right here? You can also find some items right there, too. And, well, right now I don't have any kind of a, I don't have any, I think I don't have any rods right now. So, we're just going to have to wait on that. And here we found a Poliwag. Should probably evolve it into a poly swag and that is a no-go because I do not want to battle any Pokemon right now I do want to evolve Puka so let's go into the next area of this island right here and here we are and look at this we've located a revive and well let's go right ahead and see what we what else we can actually find right here and there might be a hidden item right here somewhere down between so Let's go ahead and take on this Pokemon right here, and it will be a Psyduck, and well, Puka don't want none, no Psyduck or anything like that, so, let's see. Maybe I should just start capturing some Pokemon. Well, what the hell, I could I could capture every, every Pokemon I want. And, uh, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, nearly defeated, oh crud. Okay, so let's go again, Thundershock again. And this one has been defeated. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely a good place to actually start capturing some Pokemon as well. And it looks like to me that I do want to get myself a Fletchling. It, it does, it does seem to be a very good fit for my team. Now the only thing is, we, well, obviously Toxic Batman is probably going to have to take a backseat right here because I don't necessarily need it. And well, here we have a Max Repel. And we're going to keep on going forward right here. And Lana will be waiting for us. And she's going to be like... Look! There it is! Ah, I'm sorry. What was your name? Oh, of course! Draven. It is a lovely name. Just lovely. Now look over there. Do you see that? Oh, wow. Whatever is kicking up such a lovely splash uh, splashes must be rather big. A strapping young swimmer, perhaps. Or an amazing Pokemon specimen. Oh, well, another specific, a specific splash. Specific or a suspicious flash. And, well, there is a, there is something right there, but I kind of want to get... A little, I kind of want to get an item close by right here. So we're going to go right here. And... Uh-oh. Are you going somewhere? I would still like you, for you to investigate the splashes in the water. Okay, so we can't do anything right now except go to the splashes. And it's another wishy-washy. And we just got to attack this, the remaining wishy-washy right here. Okay. Bring it. We got another wishy-washy. Wishy-washy is looking wishy-washy. And, well, here we go with uh, Puka. And hopefully by this time it will actually evolve. Better have loved me a little bit more. And, well, here we go. Thundershock. And that takes the majority of its HP. But here comes an Aqua Ring. Which will benefit Wishy Washy since it is on water. It will actually heal it just a little bit. So, and it is calling for help. Good gravy. And yes, there is another Wishy Washy onto the sea right here, and that is actually double the uh, double the experience. Now, I don't think we can. I don't think we have to battle these guys. I think we just we can just escape. But here comes a helping hand. That right there is a. Uh, 
I think that will actually hurt us, but here comes a Thundershock for the win. And Puka has grown to level 22, so right now, Puka's kicking some ass. And, well, let's see, here comes another Aqua Ring. It definitely will help him if we hit it, so here we go again, Thundershock. And let's go ahead and just shock the crap out of this Pokemon right here. And that nearly defeats him. But that Aqua Ring will benefit it for some, for some, uh, or for just a little bit. So here we go again. And here we go, Thundershock. And there we go, Wishy Washy. Has been Wishy washy away. Okay, alrighty. And Ultra Psycho grows to level 22, which is great. And so far, Puka has not loved this enough. And it began to rain. Oh my! So it's a, it was another wishy-washy that was kicking up all that water? Huh, how unfortunate. It wasn't a strapping young tr uh, swimmer after all. Splash, 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 splash. Oh my word. Now what is that? Even more furious splashing? It sounds as big as a whale lord. It might be another Pokemon, but maybe, just maybe, we'll be lucky enough to find a, sp a spry young swimmer floundering in the water in need of saving. Let's go investigate, Draven. Uh, I don't think it's another swimmer. I don't even think it's a swimmer. I think it's another wishy-washy. Alright, before we do anything, let's go and grab ourselves this TM that's uh, lying on the ground right here. And we will encounter a Wingle. You know, I could keep on battling all these Pokemon. You know, I could capture these guys. Let's go with a Thundershock. You know what? Let's go ahead and start capturing some Pokemon. Uh, whatever happens, happens, and, well, because of this rain, this Wingle has been defeated, and, well, Puka has been, uh, <laughs> it has been wet, and I'm only doing this, this portion of the game because Puka or Pichu itself needs to evolve through happiness, and so far, I think, or actually it can, or it has to evolve at level 30. I could be wrong, it's either or. I don't know why level 30, but here we go. We're grabbing this. Grabbed ourselves the TM55 Scald. And now we're just going to be moving back right here. Alright, let's see what we can actually find right here. Some, uh, we're going to find another trainer, that's for sure. And there he is. And he is looking at me all crazy. When the fishing line has ca been cast, a sucker may come along wanting to battle. Huh. A trainer will be hooked. That is true. That is true. And I am the absolute sucker. So, let's go right ahead and start battling another Pokemon trainer. Fisherman Carl. And here comes a Magikarp. Okay, so he's making it easy for me. Real easily. So, here we go. Puka for the win. Alright, Puka. You got this. Do it for the bitches. Thundershock. And, of course, Splash Attack will destroy us. My god. And thankfully, this rain actually enhances a th uh, le electric type Pokemon, so this will actually, you know, it's a one hit KO. So he's throwing out another Magikarp right here, so let's try this again. Another Thundershock. Puka has been feeling stronger and stronger, that is good. But look at this splash attack. Mm mm. Beware the splash attack. And uh, there we go. We have defeated. Another fisherman and dump truck grows to level 20 and this actually works out for the best right here. So let's go right ahead and again dry up our little puka. Puka will be happy, I guess. Now there is a good reason to why I didn't name this Pokemon Aaliyah or Sparky and that is because it's final evolutionary Raichu. It does have blue eyes after he evolved it because it will evolve into a psychic slash electric type Pokemon. And what does that say about Ultra Psycho? Well, you know, we already know what's gonna happen. Brooklyn Hill! Within it lies a legendary Pokemon said to be the embodiment of the sea itself, the mighty Kyogre. That's amazing. It was only a joke, Draven. You're rather trusting, aren't you? But we're near the sea. If a spy if that splashy sound is coming from the sea, then I wonder what's causing it. And now it now that it's raining as well, the rain will boost the power of the, any water type moves by half again. Could those splashes be caused by some Pokemon whose move now growing ever stronger in the, in the falling rain? Probably. 
Okay, so before we do anything, let's go right ahead and take a look at our Pokemon right here now. Let's see. I could use Dump Truck first. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use Dump Truck first because... Yeah. I kind of want to preserve Puka for last. Just in case anything happens right here. So we're going to be Strategic Magic. And, uh-oh, would you look at that? It's a trial. Holy crud. So here we are in Brooklyn Hills, the Totem Den. Draven, you've come all this way with me. Oh, crap. So our trial has started. That's right. Didn't you notice? You passed through the captain's gate by my side, which means that you will undergo my trial. To be or to clear my trial, you must defeat the great totem Pokemon known as the Lord of the Ocean. The Lord of the Ocean. You spray of water, uh, or that spray of water you see there. That is where you'll probably find the totem. And perhaps those wishy-washy you battled against will also want to revenge. Defeat whatever comes at you and prove the strength of me. And remember, you cannot catch any Pokemon in here unless they, you complete the trial. So let the trial begin. Rat baskets. Okay, so we got we got coaxed into a trial. Would you believe that? Okay, so I think this is our ex our second trial right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give Puka a uh, well an ether just to make sure that everything's taken care of with the whole the whole uh, what should we call it thunder shock. Now it's not the strongest Pokemon. I could have gotten a grass type Pokemon somewhere along the line, but. Yeah, that, that right there is not going to be the case. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on the Lord of the of the Sea. And, yes, we are going to rush through here. And, let's see. I don't know. Where, where, where is this Pokemon? Can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, here we go. Thunder crashed over, over the open uh, sea. Lapras is trembling. Oh, crap. This is new. What the mother-loving heck. Son of a mother's gun. That's not a Kyogre. Holy crap. Okay, so here we go. We are taking on Totem Wishy-Washy. And because it's a Totem Pokemon, it's turning Super Saiyan. Meaning its defense has risen a lot. So this is the reason why we have Dump Truck right here. Because if we poison it, it will actually go to our advantage right here. So here we go. Poison gas. We just we just farted on Wishy Washy's face. And here comes a growl attack. So it doesn't matter what you do, Wishy Washy, you're gonna be poisoned. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, so it's hurt by the poison. And, of course, it will be calling up on its ally Pokemon right here. And because of that, a Pokemon has appeared. Okay, so here we go. Let's go right ahead and use a Poison Fang. And why did I go for the Wishy Washy? Crap baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. And right now, the AI is selecting for something. But here comes an Aqua Ring. Meaning that it will surround itself by a veil of water, and that right there will poison the other wishy washy. And what the heck? It's a brine attack, and now we've turned into a water type Pokemon. Will that benefit us? Nope. The poison is easily destroying both these Pokemon right here. So, right now, we are doing a great job by poisoning both Pokemon right here. And, well, let's go for another Poison Fang. Go straight to Wishy Washy. And what exactly will happen? Let's see. Hel oh, yeah, the Helping Hand. You gotta, lo you gotta love the Helping Hand. Now, if you defeat Wishy Washy first, it will not ask for a uh, another ally. And, uh, wow, it's lowering our attack right there. And so far, both Wishy Washies are going down right here. And that poison is steadily just getting these guys right here. So let's see. Let's go again and go for another Wishy Washy. And, well, we're going to be waiting on these guys. And, well, let's see. Dump truck, not doing anything. But here comes a helping hand. I think he'll be Nana increases the attack or something, but here we go. Another poison stink or poison fang, and this one right here 
This guy right here is gonna... Oh, it ate a citrus berry, so it just healed itself. And here comes a water gun attack right here. Okay, so not very effective. I could take that away. Now that it's poisoned right now, so let's see. There we go. And trying to hurt by poison, so let's go right ahead and use a disable. And let's go ahead and take that water gun away from uh, Wishy Washy. Yes, yeah, so I'm being strategic here, guys. It's a new thing. And crap. Oh, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was going to be the other way around. And there we go. Disable attack. Dump truck is doing his thing right here, and he didn't get attacked. That Wishy Washy is healing up. It's dying. Oh my god. And here we go again with another. Uh, yeah, okay, so now it's hurt by poison. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Puka. Hopefully Puka can actually do something right here. It does have Sweet Kiss, which will actually uh, confuse this Pokemon as well. So here we go, Puka ready to go. And I don't know why you continue doing this whole... Oh, crud. Yeah, I don't know why you continue doing the Helping Hand. That could be bad. And this Wishy Washy continues to be healed and declined. And there goes Wishy Washy. Yeah, buddy. And there goes another poison. Now, if this was toxic, this would have been awesome. And every single one of my Pokemon are grabbing some experience points. Toxic Batman is just learning Air Cutter. So we're going to take away Wing Attack and just learn that Air Cutter right there. And there we go. Toxic Batman. And here we go again with another ally Pokemon. And this time, a Aloma Mola will actually appear. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and defeat Wishy Washy right here. Now that we got a clear opening against this guy. And Aloma Mola giving it the helping hand. Look at that. How can you give it a helping hand? And there we go, Wishy Washy. Oh, nearly defeated! And, oh, crud. Yeah, that Wishy Washy. Oh my god, no! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so it stopped the schooling. No more poisoning. I guess it sacrificed its, uh... I guess it sacrificed its schooling version in order to actually be healed, but... There we go, Thundershock for the win. There goes Wishy Washy. And that is a little bit more experience points for Puka. And, well, everybody else is getting points as well. And Alomomola is just PO'd just because we defeated its friend. It's Lord of the Water. So, let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy right here. So, crap baskets. We pressed the wrong one. So, here we go. Thundershock. This one is uh, going to be a good one right here. So, let's go again with another Thundershock. Yeah, buddy. Shock this Pokemon. There we go. And I don't think we can capture this Pokemon right now. I don't think we can. And yes, we are getting slapped silly. Three times. Come on. Let it be three times. There we go. Alright. Let's go with the uh, Sweet Kiss. Confuse the crud out of this Pokemon right here. Kiss it. There we go. You are now confused, my friend. And it doesn't really appreciate me. God dang it! And Puka is not going to like this. Damn it! Okay, so there goes Puka, and there's a static, so Puka gets the last laugh on this Pokemon right here. Alright, three times. Let's go right ahead and go straight for Ultra Psycho just to finish this guy off. I think I do have a revive. That could lead to, you know, I, I kind of want to get Puka's experience points up just a little bit too, so let's see if, uh, no revive. Okay, so revive doesn't work. Ah, here we go. Revive. Got nine of those suckers. Give that to Puka. Aloma Mola. Very confused. Paralyzed. So it can't hurt me. And well, let's go right ahead and go for a Psybeam for the win. There we go. Psybeam. Defeats him, I think. Yes! There we go. So no more. No more uh, Aloma Mola and everybody else get some points. Dumb Truck did his job and grows to level 21. Learning Minimize, and I'm going to... You know what? I'm actually going to keep the uh, the moves that it has. It actually works better right now. So let's just keep the old moves right here. There we go. And look at this. 
We have won. We have defeated Totem Wishy Washy. Wishy Washy. And because of that, we are going to actually uh, blow dry our Pokemon right here. So there we go. Blow dry. Blow dry his spoon. Sounded dirty. Giggity. Blow dry his hand or his leg or whatever is it called. And let's get the F out of here because we have accomplished something, guys. We have defeated Totem Wishy Washy. And because of that, we will be getting uh, well, a new gem, I think. A new Z crystal. And Lana's just looking. It's like, well, very well done, uh, Draven. Please come back this way. Why won't you make me? Well, she did. She made me. I, I must say, I must, I must say that I find myself in an impasse here. All of the wishy-washy that I diligently trained up here were defeated, and that was very frustrating. But of course, I cannot let the completion of my trial go uncelebrated, Draven. You were amazing, Draven. Truly impressive. Please take this. And just like that, guys, we get ourselves the next Z crystal. This counts as a, I guess, a badge. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. My hand is filled with fire. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, alright. You do know what that is, don't you? Watch. This is how you use your Water Room Z. And that's not all I can offer you. Here, this is one. Uh, this is an Alana original, one of my own handmade fishing rods. Look at that. We get ourselves a fishing rod. It's not an old rod, nor a super rod, nor a good rod. It's a fishing rod. This is how you use a fishing rod. When you want to fish for Pokemon, look for piles of rocks in the water. Fish like to hide in the shadows there. When you are, or when you see your Bob dip or Bob dip under the water, you have a bite, but it, you won't be for long. The Pokemon will struggle to get away, so press A as soon as you see the uh, exclamation mark. If you want to catch any Pokemon, uh, well, if you want to catch up uh, any Pokemon, I recommend dive balls. And, well, we are going to get 10 dive balls right here. And let's see what else. By the way, did you know I once reeled in a red Gyarados? Did you really? <laughs> well, what do you think? You did a fine job today. Shall I uh, see you back to the Pokemon Center on Route 5? Sure. Please see me back. Good, let's get going then. And, uh, and you can always use this uh, spot as for fishing later. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are. Next is Kiawe's uh, trial. It will take place in uh, Well of Vol Volcano Park. Oh, and that reminds me, did you see any pseudo wudo by Pan uh, Pagnolio Ra Ranch? They were causing uh, some trouble with people, so I gave them a little dose of Z power using my Waterum Z, Waterium Z, just a little life, a little lesson for them. I wonder how they would react uh, now that they see that you have Waterium Z M too. Huh. Okay. So that means that we got ourselves another uh, Z crystal, guys, and that that counts. That pretty much counts as like a what you call it. That counts as a badge of some sort. And let's see. Oh wow. We still got a lot to go. Let's see. Portrait photo. Uh, let's see. Where where do we look for the Z the Z? Oh well. Screw it. Oh, I know where it's at. Here we go. We got three Z crystals and all, guys. This is an amazing thing. So now, in the next episode, we will be going back down to Route 6 to make sure to defeat the Pseudo Wudo and, you know, take care of other business down there. Now, off screen, there may be a trade here and there. I have probably figured out what the next Pokemon will be on my team. It's just a matter of trading them to my team. So stay tuned, guys. I will be right back for another episode of Pokemon Moon. See you guys.